Well, in total, between 2017 and 2018, Uber received almost 6,000 reports of sexual harassment, and among those, almost 500 reports of rape. Now, this 84-page full summary safety transparency report was just released yesterday. It had actually been left out of the initial report last year. It includes traffic fatalities, fatal physical assaults, and sexual assaults in the U.S. involving Uber drivers. The incidents are categorized in 21 separate groups, including unsolicited kissing and groping. Now, last year, Uber reportedly completed 1.3 billion trips in the country. Out of those, 3,045 passengers reported being sexually assaulted during their Uber ride, 299 reported being raped. Now, although those numbers already sound alarming, they could actually be higher because a lot of sexual abuse goes unreported. 89% of the victims involved were women and female identifying riders. Men and male identifying riders made up only 8%. Now, the report also notes that drivers were victims as well and that sometimes the incidents happened between riders themselves. Here in Chicago, our law requires ride-sharing apps to notify city officials when they ban a driver for something like sexual misconduct. The city then gives those names to other ride-sharing companies. Uber announced safety measures last year, and some of those features include Rapid SOS, which sends a rider's location to law enforcement for help. Background checks were also updated, and Uber CEO took to Twitter saying, some people will appreciate how much we've done on safety. Others will say we have more work to do, they will all be right. Now, Uber isn't the only company that's receiving some backlash for safety concerns. Dozens of women are actually planning to sue Lyft. Lyft has already said that they will, too, get, uh, take out their safety report by the end of it this year. I'm live downtown this morning. Diana Gutierrez, The Champ.